Hello, welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 43 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about nesting grid view controls. In part 32 of the ASP.NET Grid View tutorial, we discussed about displaying a grid view control inside another grid view control. So here the outer grid view is department's grid view control. And then we have a list of employees belonging to that department being displayed in another grid view control. So effectively here we have employees grid view control nested inside department's grid view control. After watching this video, a lot of my YouTube subscribers has asked me this question, how to nest three or more grid view controls. Here we are just nesting two grid view controls. But if I have to nest three or more grid view, grid view controls, then how do I do that? Obviously, I have an example here. So let's say I want to nest, you know, countries within continents and then cities within countries grid view control. So if you look at the example that we have here, you know, the outer grid view control is the continents grid view control. At the moment, we can see Asia continent. And then all the countries belonging to that continent are displayed in another grid view control, as you can see here. Okay, and then the cities belonging to each country are displayed in its own grid view control. So effectively, cities grid view control is nested inside countries, and countries are nested inside the continents grid view control. Obviously, the data for these three grid view controls is coming from these three different tables, TBL continents, countries, and cities. If you need the SQL script to create and populate these tables, it's available on my blog. So if you look at part 34 of the ASP.NET Grid View tutorial, you have the SQL script here. So create table script and then insert statements. Okay. Now if you need the blog URL, it's there on the slide. So once you visit this URL, you know, on the right hand side, you have a link here, free ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. So once you click on that link, you can see all the text version of the videos. And then you'll have the scripts and code samples. Uh, you know related to every video here okay so copy the script from part 34 of the ASP.NET Grid View tutorial so obviously to retrieve that data from the database you know I have created respective data access layer uh, class files so to retrieve continents information I have continent data access layer again this you know data access layer code is copied from another video that we have discussed before, part 35 of the ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. Okay, so here on this part, you can see the continent data access layer, country data access layer, etc. Okay, I'm not going to go into the details of implementing these data access layers. We already spoke uh, spoken about them in part 35, but you know, if you look at that, they're pretty straightforward. You know, I have the continent class itself, and then within continent data access layer, we have get all continents method, which is basically returning a list of continent objects. Similarly, I have countries data access layer. So here we have the country class and then the country data access layer which has got this method get countries by continent ID. You give it the continent ID, this method is going to return all the countries belonging to that continent. Similarly, cities data access layer has got get cities by country ID. You give it the country ID, it's going to return all the cities belonging to that country. All right, so if you look at what we need, you know, within the continents grid view control, I need continent ID and continent name. And along with that, I need the list of countries as well belonging to that continent. But at the moment, if you look at the continent data access layer, it has just got continent ID and continent name. We need countries property as well. So let's go ahead and create countries property. So public. And what is this property going to return? It has to return me the list of countries belonging to that specific continent. So this is going to be a list of country objects. And then I'm going to call this property as countries. And then for this property, I'm just going to have the get accessor. Okay, so for the given continent ID, I want the list of countries. So how am I going to get the list of countries? In countries data access layer, we have got this method get countries by continent ID. I'm going to make use of this method. All you need to do is give it the continent ID and you're going to get the countries belonging to that continent, so which is present inside con country data access layer. So let's use that country data access layer dot 
get countries by continent and to this method we need to pass the continent ID which continent ID you know whatever is the continent ID of the object that I'm going to create so here I'm just going to say this dot continent ID that's it so this is our first change that we need to do so obviously we have to use the return keyword because that's what we want to return back all right so that's continent uh, data access layer and another thing is if you look at the countries you know grid view control we display country ID country name and continent ID and in addition to that we should be displaying cities as well okay but if you look at the country data access layer here we only have country ID country name and continent ID but we need all the cities belonging to this specific country okay so let's go ahead and add cities property here so this is going to return a list of city objects and I'm going to call that cities and again this property is going to have just get accessor and I can make use of city data access layer city data access layer dot get cities by country ID and to this pass you know the country ID that's it so these are the simple modifications that we have to do for our data access layer class files and once we are done with that let's build the solution okay now let's turn our attention to our web form so this is again important we need to configure our grid view controls so basically here we need you know the outer grid view control is going to display continent information continent ID continent name and the list of countries belonging to that continent so let me drag and drop a grid view control onto this web form and let's auto format that okay so if you look at this grid view control we want continent ID continent name and countries in a continent ID continent name can be bound columns but countries I'm going to make use of a template field so that I can drag and drop a grid view control into the item template of the template field so effectively for the outermost grid view control we need three bound fields so I'm gonna click on this grid view tasks button click on edit columns and then the first thing is uncheck auto generate fields we don't want the columns to be auto generated within the grid view control so I want two bound fields and one template field okay so the first bound field is going to display continent ID the second one continent name data fields are also going to be the same things so continent that's going to be the header text and data field is also going to be continent ID the second bound field is going to be continent name that's the header text and data field is also going to be continent name the third one is going to display countries so I'm just going to give it a header text of countries since this is a template field it will not have data field we need to define an item template for the template field so at at this point I'm gonna click OK so our grid view control has three columns the first two are the bound fields the third one is the template field now we need to edit templates and then within the item template I'm going to use a grid view control and I'm gonna auto format this as well and then set the scheme to brown trigger so that the headings will appear in brown color alright with that now look at this this grid view control you know that we have in the template field this should bind to the country's property of the continent object so if you remember in continent data access layer we have defined country's property so the grid view control here you know should this should bind to the country's property okay so I'm going to specify that data binding on our web form so here the first thing that I'm going to do is click on edit data bindings and I'm going to bind look at this I'm going to set this data source property to bind to countries property okay click OK so we are done with data bindings but then another important thing here in the countries grid view control I want country ID country name continent ID you know these three can be the bound fields but the fourth column should display the list of cities belonging to that country so obviously the fourth field has to be another template field so in total I need four uh, you know columns within this grid view control three of them bound fields and the fourth one at template field so let's do that let's click on this grid view control edit columns the first thing uncheck auto generate fields 
and then I'm going to add one, two, three bound fields and one template field. So the first field is going to display country ID. That's the header text and data field is going to be country ID and the second one is going to display country name and the header text is going to be I mean data field is going to be country name the third column is going to display continent ID the data field is also going to be continent ID and the template field header text is going to be cities so let's just specify the header text here okay so that's the template field within the second grid view control that is the country's grid view control that is nested inside continents grid view control so let's click OK now so uh, this is the second nested grid view control so you can see the ID here grid view 2 now I need to define the template you know item template for this cities template column so to do that click on edit templates and then I'm going to drag and drop another grid view control so this is the third grid view control I'm gonna set the auto format for this one also to brown sugar and then the only thing that we need to do here is look at this within cities we want to display city ID city name country ID we can let the columns to be auto generated but then we need to define the data source meaning the innermost grid view control should be bound to cities property of the country object so if you look at the country data access layer you know this country object has got cities property and to that property we need to bind you know the innermost grid view control let's do that edit data bindings data source to this one we need to bind cities property all right so we are done you know specifying you know all the configuration at the grid view control levels so let's end you know template editing for the second grid view control as well so we are done so now let's go ahead and run this and everything should fall in place automatically okay look at this we don't have anything displayed you know on the web form and that's understandable because we just defined the templates obviously you know within the code behind file the most important thing is to invoke continent data access layer so I'm gonna call continent data access layer dot get all continents which is going to act as the data source for our grid view one control and grid view one dot data bind with that now you know we should have the data displayed within the three grid view controls so you can see that I have the continents grid view control within which we have countries and then within each country we have the cities grid view control and one thing here is if you look at the output it's not exactly how it is in the slide here the width of the grid view controls is not properly aligned if that's uh, you know if you want to correct that all you need to set is the width property of the inner grid view controls so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually go into the HTML source and I'm gonna set the width property of the countries and cities grid view control so here we have country grid view control I'm going to set the width of this one 200 percent and for the city's grid view control as well so that's grid view 2 and this is grid view 3 let's set the width for this one okay so with that if we run this you know the width of all the controls should be properly aligned and now this is exactly similar to what we have on the slide okay so we have continents within that we have countries and then we have cities all right on this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day